Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as the Global Dialogue for Happiness come to an end, our journey together has only just begun. It is through your shared knowledge and commitment today that we held the most important dialogue in the most critical of times. Today, we witnessed visionary and inspirational talks. We've studied the science, examined measurement tools, and looked into policy, implementation, and happiness across the globe. We also planted the seeds for a community of global happiness experts and scientists, which we named the Global Happiness Communities. All our discussions today had one common conclusion, that happiness is not luxury for people. Happiness is a fundamental human goal. There are seven billion people in the world, all of whom are in pursuit of happiness. People want governments to provide high quality education and health care. They want to feel safe and secure, and they want decent jobs and housing. As governments, we are responsible for creating such an enabling environment that empowers our people and gives them the opportunity to choose to be happy. One measure of success as government is whether our people are able to flourish, to enjoy productive, secure, and rewarding life. We are aware that as we speak, many people around the world are still facing problems and suffering from misery. This is especially true in our region, where conflict, instability, and intolerance are on the rise, taking their toll on human welfare and growth. The prevalence of depression and anxiety among children under 19 years old in our region is the highest in the world. But it is because of of all the misery and the conflict in the world that happiness becomes more important at this point in time. There is nothing more important and beautiful and rewarding than to create joy in people's heart. The focus on universal human values such as tolerance, kindness, love, peace, respect also gain more importance to confront hate, conflict, and disrespect. I thank you so much for your contribution in this global dialogue for happiness and hope it marks a global movement towards happiness. Thank you very much.